Hi, it's Erwin from Private Guide Slovenia and welcome to episode 3 of Private Guide Slovenia Goes Virtual. In this episode, we visit one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Many travelers tend to say so and we can't agree more. Bled, with its lake, the island and a castle, it's a true gem that should be on everyone's bucket list. So join us for the next 10 minutes and let's explore Slovenia together. Once upon a time, Lake Blit was a fertile valley that attracted shepherds by day and fairies by night. Shepherds angered the fairies by allowing their flock to graze upon the hill where they resided. The fairies warned the farmers to keep their sheep away or something bad may happen. But the boys left and ignored their warnings, continuing to allow their animals to graze on the hill. Pretty soon the sheep had eaten all the grass and one night the youngest and the most beautiful of the fairies fell and broke her leg. The girls were now upset. They gathered together all the water from the surrounding mountain tops and flooded the valley around the hill. On top of the hill, which turned into an island, there's a church and if you watch closely you might still see the twinkling lights of the fairies dancing at night. On a more realistic level, lake was created by a glacier that carved into a tectonic valley about 12,000 years ago. Archaeologically, this area was always considered important. Numerous finds only tell us that Lake Blade was a significant settlement throughout history. Inside of the lake they have found objects of extreme importance, from swords to knives, jewelry, and even Slovenians oldest found golden objects, two patches dating back to the 13th century BC. The lake itself is little over 2 kilometers long and 1.3 kilometers wide. The deepest point is over 30 meters. It's rich with fish. 19 different species live in it. In the summer, it has perfect temperature for swimming and if we're lucky, it freezes completely in the winter. The lake surrounds the island where you can find the pilgrimage church of Assumption of Mary. The first chapel here was built in the 9th century, while the current one is from the 17th century. You can reach the church along 99 steps, which for locals are very special. Once you get married, the tradition is to carry the future wife up those stairs. If you're successful, the marriage will be too. If not, well, then better run away while you still have some time. Another curiosity is the bell inside of the church. Once you ring it, it brings good luck in love and makes your wishes come true. There are several ways to get to the island. The most traditional, though, is by Plitna boat. These are large wood boats handmade by the locals from the small village of Mlino. To be an oarsman on the boat is one of the few traditions in Slovenia that are still being passed from father to son. In the past, the Plitna would serve to transport pilgrims to the church on the island. Nowadays, it mostly serves to the tourists. Lake Blit is busy with other kinds of boats as well. The long, professional and slender rowboats that zip up and down the lake, the only sound you can hear from them is the tapping of the paddles on the lake shore. Rowing has a long tradition in Slovenia. It started in 1887 in the city of Piran and then it moved fast to Blit and Ljubljana. The first regatta was held back in 1930. The first international regatta was held in Blit in 1950s. Blit, up until today, organized four world championships. The first one in 1966, the next one 1979, followed by 1989, and the last in 2011. We were supposed to host the new one in 2020, but for obvious reasons, it was canceled until further noticed. Our rowers have always been our pride. They brought home a lot of medals from different competitions, including Olympic gold. On the shore of the lake, you will find numerous villas, 
homes built for wealthy merchants in the beginning of the 19th century. They wanted to be close to their king, who back then had a summer royal palace on the shore of the lake. The old building was removed after the new government took control over after World War II. Marshal Tito, the president of the newly formed Yugoslavia, had a summer residence home here. So this is where he hosted big heads from around the world, watched John Wayne movies in his own cinema, smoked human cigars and drank bourbon. In his spare time, he was hunting in the lush forests in the surrounding and had a time of his life. His time passed and so the residence was turned into a hotel that still welcomes guests from all around the world. Tourism is the most important business in town. It all started with the pilgrims visiting the island and then continued with Arnold Rickley. He was a Swiss hydropath who came here to find his own health. Immediately, he fell in love with the place and decided to continue with the business. He opened up a spa here, following a very, very simple, basic philosophy. His philosophy was, air is good, water is better, but most important is the sun. This brought international recognition to the area and Blit also got a gold medal in 1906 as the best tourist resort in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Blit never looked back since. Tourism continues to be the most important industry of the area. Last but not least, we are going up to Blit Castle. It is the oldest one in Slovenia, dating back to 1011. At that time, it was called Castellum Feldes, and it was at the time when Henry II, the German Emperor, donated the land of Blit to bishops of Brixen. They were the ones who started with the development of the castle, but also the area beneath it. Join us. So after the parking lot, we have a steep incline to reach the castle and actually to reach the lower courtyard, which was meant for the servants, while the upper courtyard was meant for nobility. The difference can already be seen in architecture, from simple to more elaborate one. However, one can find a printing works on the lower courtyard, which is dedicated to the arrival of the first printed book in Slovenian language that dates back to the 1550s. Okay, come, we still have some more to see. We can find some grape wines on the castle. And here is the entrance to the wine cellar. So when it's time to celebrate, you might want to come here and fill your own bottle with one of the authentic Slovenian wine. However, we are not celebrating today, so I will climb the defense wall and admire the views of the surrounding mountaintops. Beautiful vistas take us to the upper terrace of the castle. We are now 130 meters above the lake. The terrace offers spectacular views of the surrounding mountains, most importantly of Mount Triglo, Slovenia's highest mountain and also the nation's symbol. The terrace links the castle restaurant, the castle museum and a small chapel that was dedicated to the bishops that first owned the castle. Inside of the museum, you can learn everything about Blade and the castle itself, from the archaeological beginnings all the way to modern days. If you're curious enough, you might even find a piece of jewelry 
that inspired a local artist to create a symbol of Blit, the heavenly bird. Looking at this immense beauty, I must agree with Dr. Franze Prešeren, our greatest Slovenian poet. He wrote a famous verse about Lake Blit. No, Carniola has no prettier scene than this resembling paradise serene. Until next time, stay curious.